You know what, I really like this uh, bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast Antico Bari. I think it's called, no, maybe bed and breakfast Antique but Boutique. Bari. Uh, uh, anyway, it's like old furniture. I really like the light in here. And here is some, some stuff that I actually think is for sale. And really love this table or whatever you call it. Look at this. And by the way, I just ate here in my room. I don't feel that energized, so uh, maybe it was the wrong decision to go to the supermarket and buy food. I maybe should have gone to restaurant but it is what it is it's almost 10 o'clock now and it's probably time to go to bed and uh, speaking of experience because i feel less energized now and didn't have a great uh, dinner and didn't have a great lunch either so uh, i might have a lot of idiopathic intracranial hypertension symptoms tomorrow and also I mean I know that food and rest is like so so important for me because of my IIH and I really really try to eat healthy and sleep well I have managed to sleep very well during my interrail trip here but uh, sometimes my food intake has been a little bit too too low but you know it's those kinds of things that you you just have to accept what it is because today was a traveling day and uh, it wasn't great food on the ferry i ended up taking the wrong decision here because it was late when i arrived here and uh, could i have planned this better i'm not so sure about that to be, to, to be honest because it's like i have to trust that that it, that it is good food on the ferry of course i could have bought uh, a couple of things with me but then it would probably just have been like chocolate bread and uh, stuff like that that isn't not that healthy I just want to reflect on something that happened yesterday uh, at my last place in uh, Bari that is very very related to idiopathic intracranial hypertension because uh, I ended up having a little bit of an argument with um, uh, one of the staff members it, basically it, it was nothing serious believe me and we had the argument over text, but um, uh, basically you were supposed to send in um, a photo of uh, your choices for the uh, the uh, breakfast next morning. It was like a paper and you could just uh, click in how many of certain things you would like to have and what to drink and stuff like that. And, uh, we ended up having an argument about that because uh, I set the time for my breakfast at 8 and she said that uh, no, uh, breakfast started at 8.30 and I informed you about that when you checked in which um, I don't remember that she did and she also told me that um, yeah, you shouldn't have sent me this through um, the uh, text service that um, is offered by Booking.com but uh, you should have sent me uh, via um, Whatsapp instead and 
I can't remember that she said something like that and she, it was like I could sense that she was um, uh, a bit upset over this that I didn't do as she had uh, told me to do uh, if she told me because I am very very uncertain if she did uh, but anyway, when I arrived to Bari, I was kind of tired and I hadn't eaten a lot in, in the day. And something that can um, be a sign of IIH is the brain fog, which is something I have experienced before and it's absolutely horrifying sometimes, but also memory loss. And uh, I can't remember that I have experienced memory loss before which means, makes me think that the fault was on her or that I simply just misunderstood what she said but I ended up feeling very bad about that because it was like I was sort of blaming myself in the beginning until I just realized that no I don't think she actually told me about those things and if she did it's and I can't remember then then it is probably my IIH that has caused it which would be like uh, maybe not the first time for me but it hasn't happened often that I have had memory loss But if, if I think about it, uh, I had had a very rough day traveling for seven hours on the sea from, the bon from Dubrovnik to Bari. I didn't eat well on the ferry. I hadn't eaten in Bari when I checked in and I was tired, I was hungry. Uh, so maybe my brain wasn't functioning that well. All right, I just realized it. it is one more thing that I want to say. If you do have idiopathic intracranial hypertension and want to share your story about uh, uh, your illness, uh, please uh, make a comment down below and uh, uh, explain how the situation is for you. I, I want to hear from other people as well.